Deep inside the woods, or even sometimes at the water's edge, you find the ostrich fern. The ostrich fern has new growth that are fiddleheads because they're shaped like the stem of a fiddle. These fiddleheads, when they're young, are tender and beautiful and a forager's dream. Just because we're in the backcountry doesn't mean we can't eat like kings. Earlier, I foraged these great fiddleheads, which are going to taste great with a potato gnocchi. Now, gnocchi is so simple because its ingredients are just simply potatoes and some flour. And normally we add an egg, but we can make an eggless gnocchi and get incredible results. The first thing I've done is I've boiled these. There's always boiling water around the campfire somewhere. So I've boiled these, peeled them, and then mashed them. The next thing I'm going to do is put about three quarters to a cup of bread flour on top, work it in until it's a nice, smooth consistency that will be perfect for rolling out gnocchi. With the dough kneaded and brought together, I want to show you how easy it is to make these beautiful little pillows. Simply roll them into little logs and then you pinch off a little piece, form it in your hand, press it with a fork, and before you know it, you've got a whole plateful of these tasty gnocchi. Now over the fire, I've got boiling water, nice rolling boil. I'm just going to gently place these in. They behave a lot like dumplings. So when they're cooked, they'll rise to the top and they'll be ready for a pan fry. With the gnocchi nearly finished, I've got a nice hot cast iron pan just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and then in go my clean fiddleheads minus the pine needles. Those begin to cook immediately. Just a little bit of salt. Bring out the natural flavor and after a quick toss or two. Look at that. They crisp up so nicely in that cast iron. The gnocchi is nearly ready to go directly in the pan. They're just starting to float now and I want you to see the texture. Woo, it's hot. But what we have is a beautiful little dumpling. Those are going to go directly into the pan and I'll saute them until they're golden and crisp. With the gnocchi finished and the fiddleheads nicely sautéed, I'm going to finish with a guilty pleasure in the backwoods. It's Parmesan cheese. Travels well, doesn't need to be refrigerated over a short period of time, and it peels on top of this finished dish just beautifully. Now I can set this back in the fire for just a couple minutes. That Parmesan will heat up nicely, and that dish can go straight to the table.